Hello guys and welcome. My name is Dr. Peter and today we are going to be discussing how to clock body swelling. In the exam situation, of course, use close-ended questions so that you can manage your time. Also use lay terms that the patient and relatives can understand. And if you are interested in um, examination videos, clacking, um, procedures, picture tests, things the clinical students will need for their exams, then you should subscribe to this channel and watch out for our content. So these are the questions you ask when a patient has body swelling. You want to know the onset as, for example, congenital nephrotic syndrome can start at birth. So you want to know the onset. You want to know the progression, how it has increased over time. You also want to ask questions particular to the urine. You want to ask for the color of the urine, if it's dark, if it's, if it's blood stained. You want to ask if the output has reduced or increased. You want to ask for um, frequency, urgency, nocturia before and during the period of the body swelling. It's also important to ask for um, which part of the body is involved. Is it just localized to one particular part of the body or generalized? As you know that chronic kidney disease is particular to um, early morning facial swelling. You also want to ask which, part, which time of the day the swelling is worse. Um, as I've told you earlier, in the morning, during the day, and which period it is worse. Now, these questions will characterize body swelling. But the questions to ask in terms of association to find an etiology are the following. But the commonest cause of body swelling is nephrotic syndrome. And nephrotic syndrome is that triad of proteinuria, nephrotic range proteinuria, hypoalbuminemia, and of course, edema. So the commonest cause of body swelling is nephrotic syndrome. It could be congenital or it could be secondary and secondary to the following causes malaria schistosomiasis drugs allergies um, diabetes mellitus and sickle cell disease these are the causes these are the common causes of secondary nephrotic syndrome and you ask questions to rule out each of the causes so for malaria you want to ask for history of fever generalized um, body pain body weakness chills and rigor for schistosomiasis, you want to ask for history of you know, wiggling in stream, terminal hematuria. For diabetes mellitus, you want to ask for history of polyphagia, polyuria, and polydipsia. Um, for drugs, you want to ask if the patient has been taking any medication. There are quite a number of medications that can cause secondary um, nephrotic syndrome. So you want to ask, for example, history of um, use of penicillamine in the treatment of Wilson disease, for example, which is a common cause of um, secondary nephrotic syndrome. You want to also ask for history of allergies. For example, the patient might have been stung by a bee or an insect. So this will be a, a cause of secondary nephrotic syndrome. Sickle cell nephropathy. So the genotype of the patient, um, history of frequent admissions, history of frequent transfusion, um, generalized body pain, and bone pains will point towards more towards more of sickle cell nephropathy as a, as a cause of secondary nephrotic syndrome. Now, there are other causes of um, generalized body swelling in their own right. Chronic liver disease will present with yellowish discoloration of the eye, um, leg swelling, abdominal swelling, um, altered state of um, altered mental status. This will point towards more of chronic liver disease. Chronic kidney disease will present, for example, with early morning facial swelling, puffiness, generalized body um, swelling, reduced urinary output, frothy urine. So this will point more towards a chronic kidney disease. Now, malnutrition, um, a child with marasmus or kwashoko can present with generalized body swelling. Also, patients with cough, breathlessness, difficulty in breathing, frothy sputum will point towards more of chronic heart failure as the cause of re fluid retention, which results in um, generalized body swelling. So these are the questions to ask to narrow down on what is the particular etiology of generalized body swelling. Thank you guys for watching and do share and leave your comments below.